Free energy, unlimited power, it runs forever. It's the ultimate dream, right? Just a few magnets, some copper wire, and you're set for life. So, unlimited free electricity from a couple of spare parts? It sounds incredible. It also sounds way too good to be true. And in this video, we're going to find out why it is. We won't just break down the science that proves these machines are impossible. We're going to build one ourselves to show you just how fake they really are. Let's be real, the promise of free energy is powerful. The idea of ditching our power bills forever, running everything on a little box that never needs fuel, who wouldn't want that? It's a modern-day holy grail. And because of that, the Internet is absolutely drowning in videos claiming to have cracked the code, racking up millions and millions of views, all fueled by that one powerful hope. But there's a catch. A huge, fundamental catch. It's called physics. More specifically, the laws of thermodynamics. And these aren't just good suggestions. They're the basic operating rules for the entire universe. The first law, the law of conservation of energy, is simple. You can't create energy out of thin air, and you can't destroy it. You can only change its form. Not a single experiment ever has proven this law wrong. So any machine that claims to pump out more energy than it takes in, what's called an over-unity device, is claiming to have broken that law. It's claiming to make something from absolutely nothing. What's really going on in these viral videos, then? Are they all secret geniuses who've managed to upend 300 years of science? Or is something else at play? Today, we're counting down the 10 most common, most viral, and most scientifically impossible free energy claims. We'll expose the bad science, the sneaky tricks, and the outright lies. Let's get to it. All right, kicking us off at number 10 is a gizmo you see all over DIY channels, the spark plug and speaker magnet generator. The videos show someone gluing a spark plug to a big speaker magnet, wrapping it with some copper wire, and after a little spin, it magically starts pumping out 220 volts, powering lights and everything. The claim? That the magnetic field and the spark plug somehow create a mysterious, self-powering electrical current. Here's the reality. A real generator works by spinning a wire coil inside a magnetic field. It takes constant mechanical energy. Something has to keep it spinning. A magnet sitting still next to a spark plug doesn't do anything. There is no known scientific principle that lets a spark plug turn a static magnetic field into a steady flow of electricity. That energy has to come from somewhere, and it's not coming from that device. Ah, the self-running flywheel. This one's a classic often built with impressive-looking gears and heavy wheels. Someone gives it a good push, and instead of slowing down from friction like everything else in the known universe, it just keeps going, or even speeds up. Sometimes there are little hammers or springs attached that supposedly give it a kick on each rotation to keep it alive. The theory is that it cleverly uses gravity or spring recoil to perfectly overcome all energy loss. But the second law of thermodynamics would like a word. In any real system, you always lose some energy to heat from friction. Bearings aren't perfect, air creates drag, and springs heat up when they flex. Every single one of these things bleeds energy out of the system. To keep the wheels spinning, you'd have to put more energy back in than you're losing. The little hammers and weights are part of the system. They can't add new energy from the outside. It's a closed loop and it's destined to run down every time. Now we're getting into the really weird stuff. The Joe cell is usually a set of steel tubes inside another, all sitting in a bucket of water. The claim is that a little zap of electricity doesn't just split the water into hydrogen and oxygen, but instead charges it with a special energy, sometimes called orgone or zero-point energy, which can then power your car. And get this, they say the water isn't even used up. The debunk is pretty simple. There's no such thing as orgone energy in science. There's no evidence a Joe cell does anything other than basic, inefficient electrolysis. The claims are deliberately vague, using made-up terms to sound impressive. They're almost always backed by personal stories instead of actual, measurable data, usually to sell plans or kits to people who just want to believe. 
We're going way back in time for this one to the 1700s with a guy named Johann Bessler. His famous wheel used a system of hinged weights, or rolling balls, that were supposed to keep more weight on one side of the axle, forcing it to turn forever. It almost seems logical, right? If one side is always heavier, shouldn't it keep falling? The problem is the difference between weight and torque. Torque is what causes rotation, and it's a mix of weight and its distance from the center. On these wheels, the side with more weights has them closer to the axle, giving them less leverage. The side with fewer weights has them farther out, giving them more leverage. When you do the math, the torque on both sides cancels out perfectly. The wheel won't turn. As for Bessler, it was later said a maid confessed she was the secret power source, turning a hidden crank. Remember this one? A few years back, an Irish company called Steorn made a huge splash, even taking out a full-page ad in The Economist. They claimed they'd built a magnetic device called the Orbo that created free energy, shattering the law of conservation of energy. The media hype was massive. They even put together a jury of 22 independent scientists to prove their claims were real. So, what happened? Well, after years of embarrassing delays and failed public demos, the jury delivered its verdict in 2009. It didn't work. The claims were baseless. The company eventually tried to sell a USB charger called the Orbo Power Cube, which was, you guessed it, just a regular battery pack. It's a perfect modern example of how badly people want to believe in free energy and why you always need independent proof. The Bedini motor is a huge hit in the free energy community. It's a special kind of pulsed motor, and the big claim is that by capturing the back EMF, a little electrical kickback you get when you pulse power to a coil, it can charge a second battery more than it drains the first one. Back EMF is absolutely a real thing. But that captured energy is always less than the energy you spent to create it in the first place. You can't cheat thermodynamics. A Bedini motor is really just a clever but inefficient battery charger. It can be good at reviving old sulfated batteries with its high voltage pulses, which can make a dead battery look like it's been magically recharged. But it's not creating energy. It's just moving it from one place to another and losing some along the way. Let's hop in our time machine back to 1812. An inventor named Charles Redheffer rolls into Philadelphia with a machine he swears will run forever. He charged people to see it and even asked the government for money to build a bigger one. The machine was pretty convincing, but a team of inspectors got suspicious. An engineer on their team secretly built a replica powered by a hidden clockwork motor. When they showed it to Redheffer, he panicked and tried to buy it from them, basically admitting he had no idea how a real one would even work. Later, in New York, the famous engineer Robert Fulton exposed him for good. Fulton noticed the machine's motion was a bit jerky, pulled down some boards from a wall, and revealed the perpetual motion source, a guy in the attic turning a crank. Here's another great scam from the history books. In the 1870s, John Keeley claimed he had a vibratory generator that could produce insane amounts of power from a quart of water. He started the Keeley Motor Company and convinced investors to give him a fortune for over a decade, all without ever selling a single working product. Keeley was a master of technobabble, using words like etheric force and sympathetic vibrations. He'd put on these amazing shows in his lab, but he never let anyone get a close look at his machines. After he died, investigators finally got inside. They found a giant compressed air machine in the basement, with hidden pipes running two floors up to power the generators in his workshop. The whole thing was just theater. This might be the biggest, most stubborn myth of them all. The idea that a car can run on just water. The most famous proponent was Stanley Meyer in the 90s, who claimed his water fuel cell could split water into hydrogen and oxygen using almost no energy. He showed off a dune buggy that he said could drive from L.A. to New York on 22 gallons of water. The problem is, water, H2O, is the end result of burning hydrogen. It's the ash. It's a stable, low-energy molecule. 
To break it back apart into high-energy hydrogen and oxygen, you have to put more energy in than you'll ever get back. Meyer's claims broke both the first and second laws of thermodynamics. In 1996, an Ohio court found him guilty of gross and egregious fraud. Any car that claims to run on water is either hiding a tank of gasoline somewhere or is an outright fraud. And at number one, you knew it was coming. The undisputed king of viral free energy claims the magnet motor. You've seen it. A rotor with magnets arranged just so, a stator with more magnets, and with one little push, it spins forever, seemingly powered by the magical endless force of magnetism. They're always shown powering a tiny LED or a fan, and the comments are full of people begging for the blueprints. So is it real? Does it actually work? This is the one we had to put to the test. The basic idea behind a magnet motor is that you can arrange the magnets so the push and pull forces are never in balance, creating a continuous spin. To see for ourselves, we decided to build one of the most popular designs online. We got some seriously powerful N52 neodymium magnets, 3D printed a precision rotor, and mounted everything on low friction bearings. We followed the online plans to the letter. Let me tell you, the first challenge is just handling these magnets. They are incredibly strong and want to slam into each other. We carefully set each one, making sure the polarity was perfect. Then we assembled the stator with its repelling magnets. Okay, moment of truth. According to the internet, one gentle push should be all it takes. We give it a push. It spins, and then it slows down. It wiggles back and forth for a second as the magnets find their happy place and it stops. Why? Because a magnetic field is what's known as a conservative field. It means the universe always balances the books. For every single push a magnet gets as it approaches another, it gets an equal and opposite pull as it moves away. You can't get a free ride. Any energy you gain moving toward a magnet you have to spend to pull away from it. The net result over one full rotation is always zero. The only thing these devices are designed to do is find the most stable spot and stay there. Every video claiming otherwise is a fake. So if our carefully built version doesn't work, how are they faking it in the videos? It all comes down to a few simple deceptive tricks. First, the oldest trick in the book, a hidden power source a wire so thin you can't see it running off screen to a battery. Sometimes it's a hidden tube blowing compressed air to make it spin. Bad video quality and clever camera angles are a scammer's best friend. Second is sneaky video editing. You see them start the machine, then a quick cut, and now it's running on its own. In reality, they connected a hidden power source during that cut. Third, a hidden motor. A tiny, silent motor can easily be tucked away in the base of the device. And for those LEDs that light up, the power is often just a small battery hidden inside the bulb itself. You can buy those online, which makes this trick incredibly easy to pull off. The motivation behind all this fakery is almost always money. YouTube ad money from millions of views, selling worthless plans and kits, or luring in investors who are desperate for the dream to be real. The search for free energy isn't new. It's a dream that's fascinated people for centuries. But it's a dream that flies in the face of the fundamental laws of our universe. Every single claim, from Bessler's wheel to today's magnet motors, has either been exposed as a deliberate fraud or debunked by science. These videos keep going viral not just because of the people making them, but because all of us want to believe. We want a simple fix for our planet's complex energy problems, and it's that hope these scams prey on. But real progress doesn't come from trying to break the laws of physics. It comes from understanding them. Real solutions like solar, wind, and geothermal power already give us truly sustainable energy by tapping into the immense power sources that are all around us without pretending to create something from nothing. So the next time you see a video promising infinite power, be skeptical. Remember the laws of energy and always look for the hidden wires. Critical thinking is the best tool we have.
Hey, if you found this video helpful and want to see more myths get busted, hit that subscribe button. And please share this video. The more people who understand the science, the harder it is for these scams to work. Thanks for watching.